We are back. The viewers definitely, you know, uh, combing the hair of an uh, eight years old child early in the morning. It's definitely a tough job for me <laughs> personally. Anyway, let's move on to the next segment and our interesting uh, guest. Her education is originally in early childhood studies and teaching autistic children how to gain self-help skills. Then did graduate and work in behavioral uh, modification which really helps me as a coach to train mindset for her clients. Her passion in life is spice and herbs, how they work to make our health better. So uh, famous for uh, two techniques, BIG, blend, infuse, garnish. It's a method for making sure you put spices in her and herbs in your meal. Also, may hyper nourishment green smoothie designed specifically with ingredients that heal at a cellular level. Six weeks of drinking this smoothies changes so many aspects of your health can be gained clear skin, hair fall uh, less, uh, decrease joint pain, loss of weight, assist high blood pressure, more energy, better digestion, and deeper sleep. All that. You know, we will hear from uh, the uh, person herself. So let's all welcome our guest, dear viewers, Patty Marot, the Spice Coach. Welcome to Good Morning Hi, Kuwait. Hi, Good Morning. Uh, Thank it's you. It's a pleasure to have you in, in Good Morning Kuwait. Thank uh, you, Miss Patty. Pleasure to be here. Uh, uh, I, I heard uh, you were with your husband earlier, yes. Busalem. So I can take that. You are Om Salem. Yes, <laughs> Om Salem. <laughs> it's a pleasure. It's beautiful to, you know, really see American uh, lady. Thank you. You know, with the name Om Salem. Thank it's you. really a pleasure it's a name and I have honor. Proudly. Absolutely, and we are all proud of you, uh, <laughs> Miss Patty. Uh, definitely, uh, tell us about uh, uh, the definition of a spice coach. Well, Spice Coach is a name that I gave myself originally with my original business. It had one name, but it was to do with spices and herbs. And, you know, people were coming out with names like Fashionista, or they were calling me the Spice Queen. That's and a beautiful nickname. Yeah, yeah, but it didn't sit with me because oh. my nature and who I am and also my educational background, I like to coach. I like to teach. Mm -hmm. I like to give the knowledge to the people. So I just decided, well, I'm all about spices and herbs. I want to be a, a coach. Let's put it together. I don't want to be known as the spice queen. I want to <laughs> be known as the coach. The coach. Okay. Yeah. So, because honestly, it, it, it's somehow misleading. People think, you know, oh, it's all about spices and how you make the food delicious. But no. your aim is totally different. Health. Absolutely. It, it, it may approaches, you know, the approach would be spices and herbs, but definitely the aim is totally yeah, somewhere else. because I'm a else. licensed nutritional yeah. coach. Yeah, so uh, how could spices work as painkillers or even, uh, let's say, honey? Well, the phytochemicals that are inside spices and herbs, the way that God designed them, is to help us with whatever symptoms that we may have. Most of the things that you'll find, for example, mismar, clove, mm -hmm. It has a phytochemical Ms. called... Mismar, yeah. yeah you know Club. that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that, that's amazing, dear viewers. <laughs> um, Salam Patti, the American lady who is a Kuwaiti citizen, definitely. Yes, now. Kuwait is my and home. And she's married, you know, and <laughs> Kuwait is there. You know, she knows him small. Yes. <laughs> that's really so amazing. So this is a very powerful spice. It's just maybe at the top of the scale of spices, how okay. it can help pain. Um, because it has a phytochemical called Unijol. So okay. Yeah, that's why if you'll see the oral gels for toothache. Yeah. Uh, or yeah, we used to put them yes. on the tooth. It's yeah. made from clove. So you have to remember that all modern medicine mm -hmm. was originally based off of medicine for herbs and spices. All of medicine in any culture. So they used to tell you, put the masmar or put the oil of this. It's, that's the original medicine, but we've gone away from that now. You know, I know... Uh, Native Americans, you know, they had this kind of recipes and approach all to cultures, here. All cultures. All okay. cultures. All cultures. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, uh, if I may, you know, uh, ask you, how did you discover this connection of healing between food and uh, various, uh, you know, sicknesses? 
Well, it was my own personal journey. Um, after giving birth to my fourth child, I wasn't healing right. Okay. And I was constantly in the hospital and sick. And finally, I landed in the hospital. First of all, how, how many kids do you have? I have four. Four, mashallah. Yes. So, uh, uh, girls and... Three girls and one boy. Oh, lucky boy. <laughs> yes, Salem. So, he's uh, the mommy's, mommy's boy? Yes. <laughs> oh, Absolutely. Salem. God bless him. Thank you. Right. So... Um, so yeah, uh, I, I got diagnosed with a disease called lupus, uh, mm -hmm. the Balhamra, the Arabi. Okay. And um, it was they just you know giving me pills, and I was on more than twenty pills a so day. So it's like a skin disease. No, it's not a skin disease. Okay. It's actually an autoimmune disease okay, that autoimmune. your body starts fighting against itself. Okay, I see. So uh, your white blood cells get yeah. too much, yeah. and so which it means you have b inflammation. Tougher, tougher immune system, but unfortunately but it's, on it's overdrive. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Other viral diseases will give you something, an immunity that's low, mines and overdrive and actually fights my body. So I so? just, I got fed up with more medicines from the medicines I was taking. They, I had to go to this tummy doctor because mm -hmm. I was having burning sensation and they gave me an ulcer because of so many medicines. Oh, yeah. So he gave me more medicine. Whoa. And then he's like, but you have to go back to your rheumatologist and see if those. Yeah, there is like uh, a conflict, unfortunately, yes. you know. And I just came home one day and I said, I'm done. I need to start researching what are natural remedies. And I was remembering how I was raised and not on, you I'm know, reading a lot about uh, too much. herbs. I was, I'm, I'm fascinated with it. I started off with Middle Eastern medicine or, okay. you know, the prophetic yeah. medicine. Especially in, uh, in, in uh, Damascus and Lebanon, yes. these areas, yes. definitely. Uh, Islamic medicine, Chinese medicine, Ayurveda wow. for Indian so, medicine. Wow, oh, oh, so Islamic and Chinese. Ned You're American. talking about, you know, uh, ancient ages. Yeah, yeah, it's my passion. Okay. Um, and what did they used to <laughs> use? And, for example, one of my first concoctions that I made was uh, honey with uh, black seed mm -hmm. and kirkum, so turmeric. So it's together, and I, that was one of my first products I ever made in a, an effort to heal myself. Wow, that's yeah. a... So, and it worked out? I'm currently in remission, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. since I was diagnosed 12 years ago. MashaAllah. And I stopped taking medicine, which I don't recommend for anybody. It's a journey that every individual, and they must sure. be, you know, in agreement with their that's physician nice. or their doctor, but... Definitely, uh, I have yeah. to look at her husband, Busalem. He's here in the studio and <laughs> say, how, how lucky you are. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. so <clears throat> uh, let's go back to our questions. Okay. Uh, you have two major techniques. Yes. I know people, some people, they don't want to reveal this. You no, know, secret, knowledge is but, free. But <laughs> I, I really uh, you know, salute you, Thank you. On, on that kind of tendency you have. Uh, you know, there are two major techniques in your way of, you know, curing and uh, prescribing things. Uh, and what they depend and, and and they depend on, you know, some things. So what are they? Well, I call it a roadmap to recovery. I never call it something that's 100% cure. Okay. I would say the cures from Allah, Allah Shafi. Ah, mashallah, then, that's but, amazing. But your lifestyle has everything to do. So mine is a foundation. It's like a square. You have to think of it. And your lifestyle is your nutrition, your movement, your mindset, and also um, how you incorporate spices and herbs into your your life okay. so that you can recover so I call so again it let's go back again your, your mindset your nutrition your, your what nutrition. you put in your what, body, what you put in your body. Yeah. okay uh, your movements I don't like to call it exercise okay exactly yeah. how how you move you just got to make sure you move how many how long every person uh, yeah. is different especially yeah. if they have exactly an that's disease. that's a good way of putting it but make sure you're moving every day you're doing something at movement if it's gardening if uh, it's, I see your point yeah Movement. You want to call it sport, you want to call it exercise, exactly. call it whatever. Movement. Just Movement. move your body. So As long as you're moving and yeah. your muscles are moving, whatever your activity, you are burning calories. you're sending cells exactly. to your body, to your brain that I'm still living, I still need to create energy. I'm active, yes. Yeah. Okay. And, and the then um, mindset. Mindset. Yes. So how y your attitude, to yes. the way you think. That is half of the cure. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. So if you are optimistic. Yes. 
then things Don't will dwell you know, in your sickness or uh -huh. whatever. If you are pessimistic, pessimistic, yes. you know, then things will unfortunately yes. go sideways. Yes, and it happens. I mean, I, out of the twelve years that I had, I had some dark years. Of course, it happens, but you gotta not dwell in that place and move on. And then the last thing of my square is is rest and recovery, and that is through using spices and herbs. It's really important that we sleep and rest well. We know when to stop moving, uh, you know, just to re rest, relax. You guys in the States, sorry, I refer you guys. I know you are a crazy <laughs> sister. I, no I, I, I don't want to, uh, but because but, you know, I'm aiming to something. Because, yeah. you know, I mean, the American folks, your folks back home, they have coffee. Yeah. And we have tea. Yeah. So which one's w better? Which is which? Honestly, or they are both the yeah, same. Yeah, for me, <coughs> I feel it depends on what your goal is. If you want a quick wake up call of course coffee is going to give coffee. it to you because of the caffeine but i see but tea has ca caffeine in it also what i like about tea is that you can infuse which is one of my methods you can infuse herbs and spices you can have you know a nice yeah. tea with ginger varieties and, yes exactly. and then can get some of those phytonutrients in your mm -hmm. system whereas coffee i mean there are people that play with their coffee and do like mint coffee um turmeric coffee you can play with coffee too so i'm a tea person so so basically it's coffee I, I let's put it in other phrase it's like <laughs> a smack on the head so yeah wake up it, it depends on your body the tea, on your metabolism. The tea it takes a little bit of while uh, no, not necessarily. not necessarily. You mean in digestive? No, I mean in, in waking up, like giving it that depends buzz. depends which tea it is. Okay. The tea does have caffeine. The black tea? Yes. Which is we all... Yes. It depends on the person's biochemistry. Okay. We're all different. So we all... So yeah. for uh, one funny story, it's examples that when I first came to Kuwait, yeah. and he took me, Abu Salim took me to Mubarakia, nice. and I had chai feham for the first time. Okay. And I really liked it. Really? And I was just drinking chai feham, enjoying it. That entire night, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to go to the hospital because my heart... Uh, and Abu Salim <laughs> didn't tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> no, every person's biochemistry and how they react to phytonutrients or phytochemicals is different. It's not a set. So, so, uh, um, Salim, yes. uh, Patty, because uh, we are almost, you know, we are done. Yes. Yeah, your last message. What would you like to say to our viewers? This is your every, camera. My camera. Yeah. Hi. Mm -hmm. Every meal, think how you can incorporate your spices and herbs so you can bump up the nutritional value either by using blending them either if it's a smoothie or soup infusing if you're marinating your chicken or your protein and how you can garnish that's my biggest message i i really thank you the, the the spice coach thank you and you should give lectures either in, on youtube or i'm working social. on it i'm please, working on please. it please you have to <laughs> thank you, know, you for having a lot me. of people thank you very much thank Patty. you i'm salem you know and we are really proud of you thank you we want to see a lot of ladies kuwaiti ladies like <laughs> i'm salem i want to see everybody healthy inshallah inshallah thank you thank you so let's go for a break and after that we have more to come